Oh yeah, it's Five Minute Friday. Hey everybody, welcome back to Five Minute Friday, where we put five minutes on the clock and try and give you one awesome tip to make your gym a more amazing place to train. And today I've got one that's pretty cool, I think. Now, not everybody's gonna like this, but the more creative of you out there are gonna dig it. One of my favorite things about having my own gym is that it's my own gym. I can do whatever I want in it. I can put cool Batman posters on the wall because Batman's awesome. Having my own gym is great. You can set up your gym to be specific to your training and your workouts. One of the cool things about today's tip is it allows you to do that. And that's this little guy right here. This is called a chalk marker. Now, it's not a piece of gear, it's not a barbell, it's not a weight. But this little guy right here, there's about five different ways that can make your gym more awesome with this. So the first way I'm gonna show you to use this is something you can do in a couple of other ways, but I actually like this the best. And what you see behind me is the post of my squat rack, and you'll see these little uh, masking tape markings on here. And what that is, is I've actually marked on here where my safety straps, safety pins, and J-hooks go for every movement that I do while training. The problem with the masking tape is, is that it starts peeling off over time, and it's coming up on summertime now and what happens when it gets hot and humid is either this will start to peel off or what I found is this gets so stuck on it leaves residue behind that I don't want. And that's the cool thing about this chalk marker. While this will stay on and be durable, it also wipes right off with water. So what I can do is replace each of these pieces of masking tape with just a handwritten note with the chalk marker so that my whole squat rack is set up and ready to go and easy to use. And then if I ever wanna move things around or take markings off, I just take a wet rag, wipe it right off, it comes right off. And that's the first way that I use this little chalk marker to make my workouts and my gym just a little bit better. So the second use for this little gem comes into play at the head end of my bench on the floor. What I notice is not only do I like to remember where my J hooks and where my safety straps go, my bench actually ends up in different places based on the type of movement that I'm doing. It goes in one place for an incline press versus a flat press, for example. So what's nice about this little guy is if I take it and mark out down here on the floor, the corner of where each of the feet of my bench goes for each one, instead of wiggling it back and forth, laying down, seeing if I'm in the right place and then readjusting, I can just put my bench in the right place each time that I do that movement. One more way that this really comes in handy. Let's look at the third way. Let's say that you bought plates, but you bought pounds and you wanted kilos or you bought kilos and you wanted pounds. Instead of having to do math in your head every time you, you lift or having to ask Siri to make the conversion for you, you could just take this pen and write whatever the correct weight is on each of the plates. So for example, this 45 pound plate is actually just 20.4 kilograms. I could write that right on here, never have to do math again. Another nice thing is you can write on the edges too. So for those of you out there with unmarked plates, when you have these on the bar, sometimes it's nice to see on the outside edge. You could just write the weight of the plate right on the outside of the plate. One more cool way to use this. Let's take a look at another one. All right, this next one is for those motivationally minded of you out there, plus those of you who like to remind yourself of what you're supposed to be doing while you're training. Because you can use this to write on your rack and write on different places, I like to use it to put little lifting cues where I see them. So when I'm laying here for the bench press, looking straight up at my rack, what I see is the top bar up there and I can write whatever I want. I can write a lifting cue to keep my shoulders back and retracted, or if I'm not remembering to do my leg drive, I can write that down up there. Or like my buddy Pat does, I can write different motivational things up there to keep me motivated to push through those last few reps and really get the most out of my workout. If you think about it, you could do that on almost any piece of equipment you have, from your bench, to your plates, to your squat rack, and really, customize it to motivate you and cue you through your entire workout. Just one more way this little thing comes in handy. Let me show you the last one. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, today's tip's not for everybody. I'm sure there's some of you out there who are thinking to yourself, really, did this guy really make a whole video about a marker? Yeah, I did. And the reason why I decided to go forward with this is I know that there's some creative folks out there who are gonna use it for, if none of the other tips today, you're gonna use it for this one. You can actually take these and they come in a bunch of different colors and you can personalize your gym to look exactly how you want. You can draw cool little things on it. You can do, like I said, the motivational sayings. You could get your kids involved by giving these to them and let them come out and draw on your squat rack so they feel like they're a part of the family and they get to, to really like being out here with you. If you're a creative-minded person, there's really no limit to what you can do with this. But it's a really cool way, like I said, 
you know, it's your gym. You get to do with it what you want. You get to make it look how you want. If you want to come in and write on everything, that's great. There's some of you out there who are just cringing right now at the thought of somebody coming in and writing on your beautiful equipment. But there's others of you who are going to do some cool stuff. So, if you like this idea, kind of post a comment down below. If you can, send me some pictures of what your gym looks like if you do use this tip. And if you've got tips that you think other people would like, let me know in the comments and I'll make a video about them down the road. But for now, I think that's it for this little guy. Get out there and enjoy the rest of your Friday. And until next time, I'm Tim with Gym Crack.